Uh, so what the hell is this thing, right? Um, something that's happened, I don't know exactly when, uh, but within the last year, the JT ProFlex, uh, its patent expired. So that means that other companies can start kind of making JT ProFlex stuff. So that's kind of kind of why we've seen this little resurgence or surgence. Resurgence? Is a surgence something? We've seen this surgence. <laughs> or how about we've seen this surge of ProFlex stuff? You know, we've seen different companies release lowers. There have been companies releasing different ears like HK. Uh, and now HK Army have made an entire bottom and ears that will fit onto a ProFlex. So you can actually see these pictures right here. So this picture is, is of the clear one. I should say there's going to be five colors in total. There's red, black, gray, and then gray clear, which is kind of like smoke. Uh, there's the clear we're seeing right there. There's also a white one. And what I should probably say about these is it's just the bottom and just the ears, right? What you're seeing right now is actually a AI generated goggle frame. This is not a real product. They actually generated uh, a bunch of different like goggle frames and you can actually see, see how it's all like wacky and not lined up right in places and there's weird lines. Uh, it's certainly generated. Uh, so it's not actually the whole goggle. It really is just, uh oh, I drug that a little too far away. Uh, it really is just that goggle bottom. So the bottom or that skirt uh, and the ears for $80. Uh, so if you have a ProFlex, all that stuff uh, will fit. I like it. I think it's a kind of a fun idea for uh, just to make a lot of weird additional parts for a mask that people already really, really like. I mean, I think the ProFlex uh, is my favorite paintball mask. So it just makes it a little bit more fun. I mean, one of the problems and one of the concerns that we probably all are going to have is when people are making a new skirt uh, or a new bottom for the ProFlex is if it's going to breathe as good. You know, the ProFlex is so popular because that ventilation is so good. Uh, and it does look breathable. I mean, it just looks as open, you know, maybe not as open as the ProFlex, uh, but maybe like equivalent to like the Carbon Zero or something like that. And those carbon masks uh, also breathe uh, extremely well. And I like it. It just seems cool. Uh, it's also very flexible. Obviously, these are photos, but it's really squishy, uh, kind of like you'd expect. I'd expect it to be uh, probably like, I mean, what's a similar mask? It's probably going to be very similar uh, to the flexibility of those carbon masks as well. Uh, I like it. It's pretty cool. Let's look. Yeah, and I found it kind of odd. You know, they're like purposely like blurring out the goggle frame or whatever. And I just noticed that like I'm like way over on the side over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just kind of, you know, I noticed they're totally blurring out that goggle frame. It's like we definitely know it's a ProFlex goggle frame under there. Uh, it's just kind of odd. You know, if you want to promote that it's for a ProFlex, you think that you would show the ProFlex frame, but there's also some probably like, I don't know, reason they're not showing it for like advertising reasons or some sort of reason. Uh, but I like it a whole lot. What do you guys think? The HK Army RMX bottom or like mask kit, I think they're calling it. 